What's up guys? I wanted to show you this video that I made in 2022 and just posting now in 2024 on the Beijing subway and their overall public transportation system. Um, Tucker just released that video about the Russian subway and how clean and safe it was. Well, it's the same in Beijing. Clean, safe, modern, quiet. It's amazing. And like Tucker's video, this also makes me think, why can't we have this in Chicago and New York? Why are our subway systems so dirty and violent? There's people being pushed on the tracks. There's bums laying in their own feces. There's open drug use. I lived in Chicago for five years. I never took the L train once. There were constantly people getting robbed on, uh, on the stop in my neighborhood in Lincoln Park. And that's an amazing, very nice neighborhood. And people are still getting robbed on that stop. There's no way I'm taking that and risking it. So why do Americans feel so unsafe on the subway? Compare your subway if you're in a large city or the ones you're on in America, if you've ever been on one. Compare it to Beijing. Compare it to this video I'm going to show you right now. Let me know what you think. Why can't we have a nice, safe subway system in America. Let me know and enjoy the video. Thanks. So this is the entrance to line one. It was the first subway in Beijing. I don't know when it was built, but I think in the late 80s, early 90s. <clears throat> it's past rush hour now. It's about 1 p.m. on a Thursday. But do you see how it's clean? There's no graffiti anywhere. There's guard rails, there's guard gates. So you can't fall onto the tracks. There's maps, so you know where you're going. And this is their first one they've ever had. Something else I wanted to show you too is everyone stands on the right hand side. So people stand on the right and they walk up the left. Very orderly that way. So if you're in a hurry, just walk up on the left. If not, you just chill on the right hand side. One PM. Now, this is going to be crazy crowded during rush hour. But it's nice and calm now. Everyone's wearing their mask. No one's singing and dancing. There's no graffiti on the walls. Nothing. Everything's chill here. No one's begging for money. <laughs> We have the digital map. And now we're entering one of the newest lines, line 14. And I think I'm just going to take the stairs here. So again, there's advertisements on the walls. There's no uh, graffiti. 
or anything. These are advertisements for the Winter Olympics that are coming in a couple weeks. There's music playing in the background. Just everyone minding their own business. So we're in line 14, the newest line, and it has the full floor to ceiling barrier. All the way across, so it would be impossible to fall on the tracks. And again, clean and no graffiti. in another journey on Beijing subway system. Compare that to your system in America. Let me know what you think below. Time to go buy some dinner. There's a subway entrance there. Right next to these beautiful office towers and shopping structure as well. So there you have it. As you see, everything's nice and orderly, no problems whatsoever. Beijing and really all over China is one of those cities where I created this test, but I've also heard other people use it. But you can go out past midnight, walk home wearing a Rolex, and have a few drinks in you and feel completely safe. There's no problems in developed Asia whatsoever. It's a shame America and Western Europe isn't the same, but it's completely safe and clean. And these are just some scenes from the mall down the street line out the door of Cartier, high-end retail all over the place. So compare this to your city. Let me know. Thanks for watching.